Hey crafters, it's Jen Evers with Quality Crafts, and today I'm doing another episode of, episode of This to That. And we are changing this, or more specifically, this, into that. This is a really old technique. It might be done a little bit differently than you've seen it before. Uh, I hope you enjoy it. I'll show you step by step how to create that. The supplies that we'll be needing today will be black paper, some kind of a paper punch, any kind of punch will do, I'm just using circles because that's easy, any kind of Versa Mark or clear ink pad, I just happen to have my dazzle sitting here, any kind of rub and buff or paint or something that you can smear on the top, a pokey tool if you want that for embossing because we'll be doing some embossing so you need an embossing gun. And then your embossing powder. Make sure it's clear because we want to see everything underneath. Let's get started. I have my black paper right here. And I'm going to go ahead and cut my circles out. And the amount of circles will depend on how thick you want your, your piece to be. I'm going to do, I think, five. Not including my design. Alright, so there's five. And I'm going to glue all these together. And I'm just using regular original Aline's Techie glue. Make sure that they're well aligned. It'll just make it look nicer when it's done. Okay, that's three. If you're worried about how it looks on the edge, then make sure your glue goes all the way to the edge. If you don't want your edges lifting up, I'm doing it really quickly because of the video, but if this was a piece that I wanted to wear or use for something that I didn't want to fall apart, then I'd be a lot pickier about how close to the edge I put my glue. Okay, and then I went ahead and I already embossed the top piece, the piece that's going to give you that. You can emboss whatever you want. I just decided that this part of that embossing powder or uh, and folder looked the coolest. So this is where you're going to put your rub and buff, is right on the top, or your acrylic paint or whatever you have is right on the top of where your design sticks up. And that's why I'm using my finger because I don't want it to fill in everything underneath. I want the design on the top to really pop. So I'm trying to delicately, delicately just get the raised parts. If you get a little bit on the regular flat part, that's okay. Like I got a little bit on there, but then maybe you want to add just a little bit to make it look like you did it on purpose. Okay, and then that's the piece that's going to go right on the top. And then I just use a baby wipe to wipe that off my finger. Okay, next thing I'm going to do is glue that down. Now here's where you want to make sure that you hit all the, the parts that are raised on the back side because that's the part that's going to stick. And then gently add that to the top. You want to make sure that you don't touch the um, paint or whatever you've used to put on the top too much because you don't want to transfer it to other parts. This is when you can use a piece of scratch paper, put it over the top, and then gently give it a push. That way you won't transfer any of that wet paint. Then go around it with your fingers like this. Make sure that the edges match up. Okay, last step. Which I forgot to mention, you don't have to do this part. But because I used um, my rub and buff and I don't want it to come off on people or on the skin or whatever, I'm going to go ahead and emboss this so that it looks wet on the outside. And I'm going to use my clear embossing powder. So I'll get set up for that and I'll be right back. 
So what you'll need is a Versamark or some kind of a clear embossing. Um, this is my Dazzle. Dazzle means it's going to give a little bit of a shimmer to it. I'm going to try that and see how it works. Now some of my Rub and Buff might end up on my pad. I'm okay with that. If you're not, if you're a freak about keeping your stuff really, really clean, um, yeah, don't do this part. So I'm just checking the glare on here to see that it was covered. It looks like most of it did. So I'll lay down my scrap paper. Now go ahead and dump some clear embossing powder on there. Actually, I think I can... I'm just going to hold it with my fingers. It'll stick to some of my, my fingers a little bit, but I'm just going to go with that. And then if you look at it, you can tell that it's totally covered. And then we'll give this a little heat emboss here. If you're worried about it flying away, go ahead and grab a pokey tool or something that you can hold it down with. I don't mind doing that, but when you do it, sometimes it um, rubs off some of the powder. So I try to, I try to do it without doing that. Hey, you can see the gloss on most of it when I tilt it. Now, if you want a thicker, um, a thicker gloss, this part give, got a funny little white mark to it. I like the look of that. It's really unique. Now, if you want it to be thicker, then you go ahead and do it again, and I think I do. So, I am going to go ahead and smash this right back into my first mark, dazzle. And I'm going to do it one more time. Now because we have so many layers, this remains hot for quite a bit of time. So make sure you don't touch it too soon or burn yourself, okay? Alright, let's see. We got a good coverage there. Yep. Okay, we'll go ahead and emboss that again. Okay, that second time gave it an incredible thick shine. And really shows off the dimension of that embossing folder and what that did. That is so cool. Now you can use this as an embellishment. You can punch a hole in the top and use it as a necklace adornment. You could make earrings out of this. And then you don't have to worry about if somebody wants to throw away your gift because you've only made it out of paper. Another thing, too, if you want a more finished product project, of course, flip it over and emboss the back or put something else on the back, maybe the same thing, if you're using it as an, um, a necklace so that when it twirls, you see a design on, e on either side. I hope you enjoyed the This Into That episode today. Thanks for joining me, and I'll see you guys next video.